In this example, we're asked to compute each of the logarithms and verify our results with an exponential because statement. So let's remind ourselves of the relationship between log form and exponential form. It's log to the base b of x equals y is interchangeable with b to the y equals x. So if I have log base 2 of 2 to the 4th, I'm asking myself, what is the exponent on 2 that gives me 2 to the 4th? Well, that has to be 4 because the base 2 to the 4th equals 2 to the 4th. So there's my because statement written in exponential form. Log base 2 of 4, what's the exponent on 2? that gives me 4. Well, that's 2 because this base raised to this power equals this number. So 2 squared equals 4. What is the exponent on 3 that gives me 27? Well, 3 to the third power is 27. So log base 3 of 27 equals 3 because the base of 3 raised to the third power equals 27. Log base 8 of 1, well, what's the exponent on 8 that gives me 1? So I want 8 to some power equaling 1. Well, what's got to go here? To get 1 from an exponent, the exponent has to be 0. So log base 8 of 1 equals 0 because 8 raised to the 0 power equals 1. So it's critical, critical that you check your logarithmic result by changing to exponential form and see if the result is correct. Let's skip this one for a minute and go down to the last one, log base 4 of 4. Well, what's the exponent on 4? that gives me 4, that would be 1, because 4 raised to the first power equals 4. So 4 to the 1 equals 4. I'm going to rewrite this one as log base 5 of 5 to the 1 half, because a square root is the same as a 1 half power. And you'll learn more about that in Lesson 6 in this class, but this will kind of help us get started with this problem. So now I have log base 5 of 5 to the half. Well, what's the power on 5 that gives me 5 to the half? Well, that would be 5 to the half equals 5 to the half. So the power is 1 half, so the log is 1 half. So log base 5 of 5 to the 1 half equals 1 half because this 5 raised to this power equals this result.